kindergartners. I wanted to tell you about a fun project that we usually do in kindergarten. And that's when we learn about tide pool animals. Now, you get a chance to learn all you can about tide pool animals. These are animals who live in the tide pool. And we're thinking a lot about tide pool, anim tide pool animals in California. Now, when we go to the Monterey Bay Aquarium, or when we go to Crab Cove Visitor Center, or even to the tide pools that we might see on our beaches here in California, not too far from our house, we see some amazing tide pool animals. And um, I hope that when we get to travel a little bit, we'll all get to visit some of those tide pool animals. Now, one of them is the sea anemone. We're learning about sea anemones this week in my class. And sea anemones are made, are, are invertebrates. They don't have any bones and they're just, they sit on a column on the bottom. They hold onto a rock with their pedal disc, their foot. It's a strong foot. And then they have these tentacles all around with stinging venom in it. When a, when a fish comes by or a tiny sea star or a little crab or something, it gets stung and it paralyzes. It can't move. That's when the sea anemone can eat it. This is its oral disc, its mouth. It pulls all its tentacles in to protect itself, but also to eat. So it pulls in the prey to eat it. It's also how it protects itself. That's a very fast overview of a sea anemone, but we're going to learn a lot more about those and you can too. I bet you're going to become even more of an expert than I am. One way you can make a sea anemone is by using a toilet paper roll and some paper. If you don't have construction paper, you can just color <clears throat> paper, different colors. You, It's really best if you can use uh, tissue paper, but I don't have any tissue paper at home. So I'm just using this colored paper and cutting it into tiny strips. Not tiny, small strips like this. Um, different colors. You can use any colors you want. This is just what I found. And then you'll put them here inside the, the roll. You can tape I have some tape here. I have my tape dispenser is broken, so I had to improvise. You can tape your tentacles inside. It's difficult, but you can do it inside. You might want to curl them a little bit to make them like flowy like this. And then you just tape them all around. Then you can use marker or paint if you have paint, if your parents say you can use it. Um, this has to be done when it's a good time for the grown-ups in your house for you to do it. So you ask, when's a good time for me to make this craft? And then you plan it and you do it. I think you could do this mostly by yourself, but you might need some help. See? If you overlap them a little bit, then they'll be really like they'll flow around in the water, the pretend water. Now, when you want to stick this on something as if it's sticking on a rock, you cut tiny slits on the bottom. Then you can bend them back like this. Then you can stick it on your tide pool when the time comes. <clears throat> Guess what? I think this is a great way to make a tide pool. Get a shoe box. If you don't have a shoe box, then find some other container or box or even just, um, you can even do a couple of egg cartons. Actually, I have these. You could even do that. You could, you could open up a couple of egg cartons and make this your tide pool. But... Find something to make your tide pool. I like a shoebox because you can close it up and keep all your things in one place. What I do to make it look like a tide pool is I take paper, I glue it in to make rocks. Then, like this, maybe two wads of paper. I try to glue them in 
Parents hot glue gums work really well for this. I don't know if that's something that you have. Um, I glue them in. Then I like to use temper paint to paint it. If you don't have paint, it's okay. Look, it looks like the bottom of the ocean right now with sand. Um, you could also color it with marker or with crayon. Um, and then you let it dry. Once it's dry, you can take your tide pool animals and stick them where they belong. See, a sea anemone belongs on a rock, right? So I would glue it on here. Once again, a hot glue gun works best. If you don't have a hot glue gun, you can always also just put them in there and then you can move them around as you want. You don't have to stick them. You can just put them in there. I've had students who just like to play with them. So they make all their animals and then they just leave them in the tide pool and then they move them around every day. So there's the, there's the sea anemone. Remember what this one is? Barnacle. We used one egg carton piece. We colored it. We took strips of the egg carton that I cut and I put it through a little hole on the top. This is its, its feather-like feet that get the prey out of the water and pull it back into the barnacle shell and eat it. That can go into your tide pool as well. There's another thing I wanted you to see, and that is a star. Now what I like to do with a sea star is use sandpaper but I don't have any sandpaper. So I had to look around and try to find something that's a scrap that's a little rough. And I, you know what I did? I used this egg carton. Egg cartons are good for many things. And <clears throat> what I'll do is, where are my markers? I had markers over here. Oh, goodness. oh here they are. I will use markers to color it. And you can see how it's kind of rough. That's good. It's an echinoderm. It's got rough skin. I'm going to have different colors on mine. I'm not going to do the whole thing right now. I'm going to have different colors on mine. I'm going to use a little red, a little brown. They're not all exactly one color. And then on the other side, I'm going to try to show the tube feet. It's hard because there's writing on it, but I can still show the mouth and the tube feet with suction cups on the bottom. I could draw those all over the bottom. That'll go into my tide pool as well. So now you have ideas for making three tide pool animals, sea anemone, sea star, barnacle and making your rocks in your tide pool. The thing I haven't made yet that we've learned about is the hermit crab. Can you think of, I haven't, just, I haven't figured out exactly how I'm going to make the hermit crab because I don't have the supplies at home that I normally have in the classroom. Maybe some of you could think of interesting ways to make a hermit crab. I have the idea if you don't have a shell already, just in your house from another time that you went to the store or the beach, you could use the shell, but also maybe another one of these that we use for the barnacle could, use, could be used for a shell. Let me know. Okay, have fun.